step is to download the Dragonlink update software and install it onto your computer. Once you install it, you will see an icon like this pop up on your desktop. When you get this, you double click it. And you will see a screen like this pop up. Now once you get this screen, you will see an option to select a COM port. From the drop down menu, you pick the COM port that it has appeared after you plug in the Dragon Link updater device. Before we plugged in the device, we only had COM3. Once the device was plugged in to the USB port, COM7 appeared. So that's the correct COM port for the USB device. Choose COM7. And now you browse to the correct updater file. Wherever you saved that file is where it will be. In, on this computer I saved the update files to drive C. All the Dragonlink firmware update files will have an extension that's called .dragon. So here we have two choices, the receiver update with the date on it or the transmitter update. First we will be updating the transmitter. So you choose the transmitter update. Okay. Okay, it's selected. Once you have selected the correct update file, you confirm that you got the one that you wanted in the update box. This one says transmitter update 20 April 2014 dragon. That's the correct file we want to install to the transmitter. So you move the arrow down and you press update dragon link button. Okay, as you see, nothing is happening. And that's because we have an error. Serial error, no response from target, means that it is unable to communicate with the Dragon Link. And what we have forgotten to do in this case is actually connect anything to the USB device. So if you see that error, you, you have, do not have a connection or you do not have power on your Dragon Link device. So we're going to put a transmitter on there. The first thing we're going to update is the Dragon Link transmitter. So before anything, we need to connect power to the Dragon Link transmitter. So you get the power and you connect it to the power port on the trans bottom of the transmitter. Okay, N make sure you have a light, green light on the transmitter, which we do. That means we have power. Turn it back over. And now you plug the USB updater device into the data port of the transmitter. Okay, once you do that, you will get some lights on the updater device. Okay, this is what the Dragonlink transmitter looks like when everything is connected and it's ready to update. We have power on the transmitter, USB device, is connected and also powered so we hit the update dragon link button on the computer and once it starts to update you're going to see the LEDs on the USB device flash like this the update will take approximately 20 seconds if it does not take this long something is going wrong so you see the LEDs continue to flash and about 20 seconds later it stops we get the message on the screen and now you hit OK. Now we have successfully updated the Dragonlink transmitter. We disconnect the data cable from the transmitter. And then we disconnect the power. And we make these connections so that they do not accidentally come out while you're flying. So there it goes. That's actually a good thing that those things are hard to get out. 
Now that we've taken the receivers out of the airplanes, we're going to put the receiver software into the receivers and update them. So here's the receiver. The first step is to plug in the 5 volt power. You can do this in the airplane if you want, but it's easier if you take it out, but anywhere you have 5 volt power. Make sure you're getting on an LED to show that it's powered, which we are. And now, now that the receiver is powered, we're going to take the receiver extension cable and plug it into the USB update device. And then you plug the little white plug into the receiver underneath the SMA connector. It will only go in one way. And I think she got it. Yes, she did. Now you put the receiver on the table. Now that the receiver is connected and powered and ready to go, we're going to choose the correct firmware for the receiver. So we browse and we choose receiver update from the list. The list comes up and you choose open. Now we confirm that we got the correct software by reading in the box, which says RX update 20 April 2014 Dragon. That's correct. So now you're going to click update Dragon Link. Now when you click update Dragon Link, you should see the progress bar slowly go across the screen. That indicates a good update. If you see that go from 0 to 100 in less than a second, you have gotten a bad update. It will not work. It should take approximately 20 seconds, which it has. When that's finished, Dragon Link successfully updated, OK to disconnect. OK, she's done that. Now she's going to disconnect the receiver. Now the Dragon Link system is totally updated, rebound and tested. Everything looks good. So it's time to put the receiver back in the airplane and go fly. Yay, Kayla! Come on! We're ready! Let's go fly! Yes! We're gonna go fly, Kayla? Do you wanna go fly airplanes? Yes, do you wanna go chase the planes? You wanna go see the airplanes? Are we gonna go fly? You gonna chase everybody away? You're not gonna let anybody bother me, are you? Yes, we're gonna go fly! Yay! That's a good girl. We're gonna go fly. You wanna go fly? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are we gonna go fly? Yes? Is it time? Did I promise you we're gonna fly? Yes, I think I did, didn't I? Yes, I promised you. And we're gonna go. And you're gonna fly. And you're gonna go see the planes. And you're gonna see the plane. And you're gonna run. Here we're going to show you what happens when you select the wrong COM port for the Dragon Link. Our Dragon Link updater device is COM7, but I'm going to mistakenly choose COM3. I'll choose the correct firmware for the receiver, and then I'll choose update. Now watch how fast the update progress bar advances. It was almost instantaneous. And even though you see this message that says Dragon Link successfully updated, OK to disconnect, that is a lie. It did not update the Dragon Link. The progress bar must move slowly about 20 seconds to update. So if you see it jump instantly like this, don't believe the message you get and correct your COM port. Now I will choose the correct COM port, hit the button again, and now you see the progress bar update slowly. This is a good update. If you do not see that slow progression, you are not updating your Dragon Link. Even if you get the message at the end, you must see this slow progression to know you've gotten an update. Now you can believe this when it says Dragon Link successfully updated. Receiver, and you connect it to power first. So this is 5 volts for the receiver. Oh, 
she just burn it up. She got it backwards. Okay. Uh-oh. Now the smoke's coming Let's out see. of the receiver. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me do it again. Mira me.